The whole idea of the Lost World series is that we try to find a topic that's of current, not only interest, but controversy, and then try to address that topic accessibly for a, a general audience by doing two things. First, reading the biblical text more carefully and re-examining things that, that have kind of been there for a long time. And then second, by looking at the ancient Near Eastern context to find out if the ancient world shows us a different way of thinking about the issues. And what this book is doing is it's applying that same basic principle to the equally human disciplines of biblical studies, biblical translation, and theology, which most people don't understand, at least not intuitively, that theology and biblical studies are just as much of a human construct and a human process as the sciences are. It's interesting, we often want to come at an issue like this and say, what can we learn? And lots of times what people have tried to learn from these kinds of texts isn't very helpful and doesn't get them the right place. This is, uh, these texts are not there to justify this war or that war or another war that any of us might feel like fighting. It's not about just war, it's not about holy war, it's not about um, jihad, it, it, it's not about any of those things. And therefore, it really doesn't come into our lives and thinking at that level. Uh, we have to think about the text differently when we think about what we're supposed to do with a text like this. It's not giving us a model to try to validate some military action or invalidate it. And so we have to be careful uh, to, to come at the text in a way that we understand what it's doing for us. Uh, for these texts, we have to understand what the land is all about. Um, and that's, that's not a straightforward thing. And again, it gets broiled and broiled in politics very quickly. When we want to claim that something comes from God, that it's revelation from God and communication from God about God's nature, we need to make sure that we're not simply appropriating God's authority to something that we created. And a careful understanding an examination of what the Bible is actually saying if you read it within its context and translate it with all of the factors of its culture and language in mind is one way that we can try to assure that we are not simply ascribing our own theological or philosophical preferences onto God.